so we were talking about how um, before I, the night before I went to work, I worked all day in the fields and told my wife I had a feeling something was going to go down, that I was going to die young, right? So whatever, I went to the thing, I got hurt, she got a call, boom. I was right, I guess, unfortunately, yeah. right? But, but the funny thing, the thing that, that saved me, kind of, was it about, <clears throat> so the elder that I kind of was Hanai to, he's like a medicine man, yeah? So he's always thinking on a deeper level. So he was telling me, you know, whenever you get that nudge from the, to do something, you know, a lot of people, they, they wait for a big booming voice from the sky or a vision or something real vivid to know when the creator's talking to them, yeah? But it's, oftentimes it's just a little, just a little hint a little that hint. you should do something and you may do it or you may not, but it was up to you, you know? Exactly. You make that but call. he gave you that nudge, yeah? So about six years before all this went down, I met my wife, right? The day I met her, I was like, dang, I got to hook up with this Indian girl. And turned out she was Hawaiian. <laughs> so cool. I was Hawaiian. I thought she was Indian, right? Because mm -hmm. we were on the reservation. I had no reason to think she was Hawaiian. Wow. Turns out she was Hawaiian. That's all good, all good, you know. And I, right away, I knew we fell in love. Yeah. So we went to sign up for benefits. I told her, sign up for all the benefits you can. Because even though you're getting paid more now at this new job, and I am too, let's act like we don't have it, you know? Yeah. So we put away all we could into the 401ks. That later on, of course, that's going to help me later. Of course. When I didn't know that this was going to go down. Well, they said, here's the thing. We weren't even married yet. So I'm going to the benefits lady, just me and her. And the lady gave me the whole package. And she said, and then, well, there's this other. I said, well, out of any of this insurance, does any of it cover, like, if I was to get killed or maybe paralyzed? And she's like, well, there's this one policy. I was like, does it cover paralysis and stuff? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. I'll buy that. And she's like, well, nobody buys this one. It's like 30 bucks a month. And I was like, yeah, no, I'll buy it. So it's Holy like, because shit. I thought if we have a baby and I get married to her, then I want to take care of them, you know, or be able to take care of my ohana. And so that was about six years ago. So wow. when this whole thing went down, didn't I buy that one insurance policy in case I got paralyzed? Accidental death and bit dismemberment, extra blah blah blah. Wow. Yep. So, what happened? Right when I was in the hospital, like the shit hit the fan because money and all that, you know, doesn't come in like it was when I was working. Exactly. And then the whole thing with they just want to pay you like twenty five percent of what you were making on disability and all that. I had an insurance policy that cashed in that helped that which I in turn, what I did was I paid off all my bills, and I bought a condo. I rehabbed it for wheelchair accessible, and I rented out to my friends in wheelchairs. And, and that keeps me my in, keeps... my little income that keeps me going, brother. How the hell Damn. did that happen? <laughs> That's the crazy part. 